In a world that sometimes likes to focus on just the negativity, I like to take a second each day to find one good thing. Today's good thing, the worst movie I ever saw. This was another viewer email that was sent to me and they challenged me to find one good thing in the worst movie I ever saw. And hands down, the worst movie I've ever seen is The Human Centipede. That movie <laughs> sucks. No pun intended, pun intended. I don't know why I watched The Human Centipede and I don't know why I watched the sequel to The Human Centipede, but somehow my little sister Twizzler convinced me that it would be a good idea. I think the reason why I decided to watch it is because I wanted to be a good big brother and make sure what she was watching was okay. But I don't think I did my job because I sat next to her and it wasn't okay and I didn't do anything. Actually at one point I did take a blanket and put it over her face. Actually I think that was most of the movie. No, that maybe it was over my face, I can't remember. But before I go into finding the one good thing about these movies, let me make it clear, I am not recommending it. And if you're a parent, do not let your kids see it. Unfortunately, this is gonna make people wanna see it. I'm not, this is, oh, my one good thing. I'm not even gonna get into the plot line of this movie because it's just, no, it's just, no. I think it was the sequel that Twizzler conned me into seeing was all in black and white. The entire movie was all black and white and that made me mad for most of the movie until towards the very end, all of a sudden, bits of things would turn into color. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're like really graphic things, like feces getting flung at the camera lens and the poop would be brown instead of black and white. As a video person, I could appreciate <laughs> the art in that. It was pretty p powerful. I don't know if it was powerful. It was, it was artistic. It was a good thing in the movie. It made it a little bit interesting. It made it, it stuck with me somehow. And the other good thing about it, and I think this is the case with all terrible movies, is it gives you something to talk about with the person that you saw it with. Because you can always go back to, remember that time we watched that horrible movie? Oh yeah, we should watch that again. No! It almost gets to the point where it's so bad that it's good, because you can talk about how bad it is, and then you have something that's relatable, and. That's how conversation, I don't know. I'm trying here. So thanks to the viewer that sent me this challenge. It was a challenge. And that's today's one good thing. If you can think of any other one good things, leave a comment below or send me an email at the link in the description. I'm Luke, and I'll see you next week.